Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna kind of do this vlog style, so hopefully the camera is not too shaky. Um, but I saw a video, and I forget the lady's name, I just started watching her on YouTube. I will leave her video down below. She did a video where she calculated how much her makeup collection was worth. And it um, was really interesting to me, and she's currently on a makeup no buy, and that kind of prompted me. I'm trying to start doing a no buy. And to kick that off, I wanted to do this video because I know that there's a lot of money sitting here. So I just got back from the gym and I, so excuse my clothes, but we're just going to get into it. I am going to kind of take you around and show you the drawers. And I've got totals and we're just going to get into it. So let's... Let's go over to the makeup area. So right here, we have my lovely cart that everybody has seen. So we're just gonna go through the drawers and I'm gonna show you what we've got. So the first one is not that drawer. The first drawer is a really high value drawer. Um, this is the liquid lipstick drawer. This drawer, and I am gonna say I probably lowballed this. I kind of took the average of what the items would cost because there's like some $18 lipsticks, there's some $5 ones. So I just kind of factored everything at $10. Um, and I did that with all the drawers. I kind of took a mid-range because I have high-end, I have some lower-end stuff. So this is probably, these numbers are probably lower than what they would actually be, but it would take me a year to go through and like calculate the price. But so here is the liquid lipstick drawer and the value of this drawer is $850. So $850 sitting in this drawer. Then we have, this is just regular lipsticks. Sorry, you can't see. This is just regular lipsticks. This is valued at $420. Then moving down, we have lip gloss. This drawer is chapstick, lip gloss, um, ex lip ex scrubs, exfoliators. We're at $400 with this drawer. Then we have, these are like glitters, liquid eyeshadows, pencil liners, liquid liners, primers. So this drawer, I don't know if you can see, valued at $480. Now I probably could have like, I do have an editing program. I probably could have figured out how to be fancy and put the numbers on the screen, but we're not there yet. I'm still learning how to do it, so bear with me. So that's why I wrote the numbers on the cards. But now we have, and this, if you've watched any videos, is my least used drawer. This is my pigments, single shadows, glitters. This drawer is $430, and I don't use anything in here ever. Then we have moisturizers, sunscreen, primers. So this is probably definitely low. I have it at 400, which there's a lot of skincare in this drawer. So this is probably a $500 drawer easily. Um, this is also probably low. We've got powders, foundations, I've got it also at 400. This is also probably more likely a five or $600 drawer. Then we have um, brow products, concealers, mascaras. We're at 300 with that. Moving down, these are all face palettes. That's all, if I can get you guys in a better spot. There we kind of go. It would probably help if I moved my chair, but um, face palettes are valued at $350. We're getting to the bottom here. And then the last drawer, here this is probably better. So the face palette drawer was now you can't see the number. $350. 
And then this is single um, blush, single bronzers, single highlighters. I don't know if you can read that. It's um, $490. So $490. Then up here we have my setting sprays. I valued at $50. Again, I just took um because I have higher end, lower end, so about $50. Palettes. Palettes are a big one. Um, we can come back over. You can see I don't know if you can even see there's palettes in all of these drawers. If you watched my declutter, um, these are all palettes. So I'm going to sit down because I'm getting winded. And then I have palettes on my desk that are in a little thing that I need to try. But total for eyeshadow palettes was 1,550. That's just eyeshadow palettes. And again, that's kind of a frightening number considering that that is probably low. Again, I think I valued the palettes at $20 a piece because again, I have ColourPop ones that are low and then I have Jeffree Star. And I did calculate the actual price of the Jeffree Star ones, like the larger ones that I knew like for certain what the value was, but I bought things on sale, bought and I purchased things on sale. I've got things off of Poshmark at a discount. So 1,550, that's just eyeshadow palettes. Um, then we have total, and this was the number I was most curious about. So what is my, in total, what is my collection worth? If anybody's been doing the math here, total, we are at $6,890. That's almost seven grand sitting. And that's not the skincare cabinet. I have a cabinet over here that is just skincare. That's probably valued at at least another thousand. So with just the makeup, we are at almost $7,000. Now, what do I actually use? I had to, I went through and I got like more accurate figures, um, for the makeup that I actually use because that was a little bit easier to tackle because um, it was a smaller amount obviously but total value for the makeup that I use on a regular basis or often was 700 so that's the stuff that I use frequently the stuff that I'm reaching for so then this number was also shocking so that leaves six thousand one hundred and twenty dollars worth of stuff that's just sitting um and it's gonna bother me that I can't remember her name her figures as far as what she used every day was close to mine um she's a beauty guru so I think she's gotten stuff in PR um but this is all purchased I haven't been I mean I've been given stuff um one of my friends has given me a few palettes but for the most part I purchased all of this. So the number that really stood out to me was, you know, $700 worth of stuff where if somebody just gave me $700 and I had to completely start over, I wouldn't have $700 worth of makeup. Like if my collection was wiped out and I had to go back and repurchase everything, I wouldn't spend $700. I certainly wouldn't be spending $6,100 or almost $7,000 like that's a car you can buy a car for $7,000 so it's just it's interesting to me and I know like my makeup collection has gotten to a point where it's very excessive for somebody like I do film videos but I don't film a lot of videos and my subscribers are very very like my subscriber numbers are very very low which isn't a bad thing and I appreciate everybody that's subscribed but I don't have hundred or thousand subscribers or even 10,000 like the amount of makeup that I have like is excessive for the average person and I think that's what's prompted me to want to do a uh, makeup no buy um because I'm just I'm constantly buying stuff and I'm not using what I have clearly if I've got seven hundred dollars in 
everyday stuff and 6,100 in stuff that's just sitting here. And I have purged, so that number probably could have been closer to 7,000 before I'd purged stuff, but yeah, it's interesting. So I tried to keep it short. That's why I kind of figured out the numbers. Hopefully the angle wasn't horrible. Um, I just didn't have my tripod set up for this like I did my other video, but hopefully like you could see well enough and I wrote down the numbers. Hopefully this was interesting. Um, I want to film another video kind of about my no buy and what my rules are going to be. Um, what I'm limiting myself to. So that kind of thing. So definitely let me know if that's interesting to you. Let me know what you guys thought. I tried to keep it short because um, I don't think anyone wants to sit here for a million years listening to me talk about my excessive makeup collection and I probably should have said this at the beginning of the video but I don't want anybody to think that I'm bragging because I feel like this is excessive and ridiculous and I it was over the course of I don't know three or almost four years so it's not like I went out and spent this in a day but it's just it blows my mind because like I said if somebody gave me seven thousand dollars I wouldn't run out and buy all this stuff that I have so I said I a lot of it came in subscription boxes and I do get quite a bit on Poshmark so I didn't like buy everything outright. So these definitely are not completely accurate figures but it does give me an idea and definitely, definitely motivates me to keep doing the no buy. Um, which I kind of started um, like a week ago so this was like a soft start for me and then next month will be completely no makeup purchases other than my subscription boxes but yeah I definitely want to do a video where I list my rules what I'm restricting myself to and I think I want to start at least once a month checking in I think it'll kind of help keep me on track with it a little bit better and make me a little more accountable so yeah definitely let me know what you guys thought of this video was this interesting it was for me um and I knew the numbers were going to be a little bit scary but I appreciate everybody's support. I appreciate um, everybody that's subscribed. Um, thank you all so much for watching. And definitely stay tuned because there are some more videos in this realm to come. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please take a moment. Hit that subscribe button down below. It means so much to me when I get new subscribers. And I will see everybody in my next video. Bye, guys.